from Vapemill and today we're looking at the Aegis Boost by Geek Vape. I saw these at the Expo and I was quite impressed, especially more impressed because it's the same as the Vupu and the Schmock, apart from it doesn't look exactly the same like they both do. Ah <coughs> boom, I went there. Uh, different reviews as usual, one I'm not doing a giveaway and two I haven't been using it that much. I've had a few drags on it, I've played about with it. Kev, my guy, you've seen him on flavor reviews. It's his, he's been using it, and he's telling me what he likes and what he doesn't like. And we're going to try and just wing it. First kind of time I've ever done this. I'm also doing it uncut, so there'll be a lot of looking at my notes, because like I said, I haven't had that much time to play with it. So, let's crack on. So, do you know how I, I very, very nearly just looked at my stuff and kind of ignored you then, because I'm used to being able to look at my notes and then refer back. Um, let's look straight at it's 106 millimeter, 0.8 to be precise, by 27 by 39 millimeters. Tank capacity is 3.7, but this has got a restrictor in, as you can see, it's white here, and that brings it down to 2. Uh, input voltage is 3 to 4.5, outputs 1 volt to 6 volt, battery 1500. Micro USB, oh my god, that's disgusting, guys, come on, where's the USB C? Um, bah, 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 bah. power output four five watt bah, 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 bah. five watt to forty watt and resistance from 0.223. Now you've probably heard quite a lot about the RBA rebuildable pod that's coming out for it. I also saw that at the expo. This one's walking through my door. It's Beverly. <coughs> Cavs misses. Uh, I also saw that at the expo. It does look quite cool. Uh, very small area. It'd be fun to play with. Um. You got the charging port here, up and down buttons here. It's very much like any of Rages to get the top off, which I don't really like. It's not a latch system, you just kind of press it and push. I'm not massively fanned on that. Kev really don't like how. Let's get it back on, shall we? Yeah. Kev really don't like how you can't see into it, and I think that's a bit crap. Apparently, there is a clearer version that you can buy. Now, nah, let's just have a clearer version. I understand why you've done it black, but we don't want it black, guys. We want to be able to see his liquid level. We don't want to be out in the nightclub raving it up and having to take it apart and have a look at the liquid level. Not good, not impressed. Now Kevin's just been asking me, well Arle, <laughs> can we take the volume restrictor out? Because you can on quite a lot of pods. And my view on this is quite simple. So if you look at this hole, two holes here, one hole there, two holes there. If like if you refer back to my Biden review, you can probably take it off and take that out. My advice though is you don't faff about with that, at least not till someone else has done it, because there's a good chance that even if it can be done, it won't take that much for you to dislodge something and it start leaking. Am I recording? God I hope I'm recording, I'm going fast. Um but there you go guys. Kev said he used it at 30 watt and that lasted 210 puffs, which is quite good. Battery, battery. <laughs> the flavour's alright. And as you can see, the vape production's alright. That's just a mouth for now. Direct to lung, you know, which tastes a bit dry then. That's it at 30 watts. We've also got some variable uh, airflow here, guys. It's very strange how it works, but it does work. So you cut that all the way down to Nada. And have a real restrictive experience. You can open it right up. And have all the airflow you could possibly dream. On such a small drip tip. So, the rebuildable RBA is coming out soon, I think. Has it already been launched? But that is going to be £13, which I think is quite reasonable. You get quite, uh, four coils, four cotton, screwdriver, and the RBA, which I don't think is massively pricey. I do think they should do a version without that pod and just the RBA pod on though. I don't know. Still, it is. They might do it. Um, but there you go, guys. A very quick look at the Aegis Boost. Uh, sorry, it's not in detail. Like I said, I ain't used it. I'm not going to be one of these reviewers because there's lots of you out there. We all know there is. That opens box and goes, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great device. That's not the way. And I'm not telling you guys this is good or bad. All I'm saying is we've got one in hand. Have a quick look at it. Uh, the screen's that big, you know what I mean? That's what we're looking at, really. So there you go. Oh, top fill here, by the way. You know, so there you go. Just a quick glance, quick look about at the Aegis 
Booster. Cheers, guys. Stay cloudy.